Hello everyone, here's Eve. Thank you for all the questions about Sync 2025 about the Dream Air, Dream Air SE and the Crystal Super Micro OLED. We've merged some similar questions and answered them in four categories, one of each has uh, but also one combined. But first, four product specs, which may answer a lot of these questions. Let's go. Do you guys consider doing individualized distortion profiles for the Dream Air? Yes, there is individual collaboration for each panel and lenses. Next, every Lighthouse controller has to connect to a corresponding Watchman dongle. In the Lighthouse variants, are there controller dongles part of the design or is it pure just a tracker? On every Lighthouse headset, there are two Watchman dongles in the HMD for the controller. When will the Halo strap for the Dream Air, Dream Air SE come available and at which price point? We are still finalizing this product, such as the injection mode and also the shipping schedule as well as the price. Are the Dream Air and Dream Air SE lighthouse compatible with a fist plate? No, we changed this since the original announcement because it's a small form factor headset and this modularity comes at the cost of size and weight. At purchase, you can choose to select the Lighthouse or Slam version. The Slam version comes with controllers. I pre-ordered the Air in February. I was never given an option of choosing Slam or Lighthouse tracking. How do I know what I will get? Or is there a way to choose? Yeah, you will contact by our support team. If you want, you can also submit a ticket to set this already. Next, if I choose the Lighthouse version without controller, will I be able to play with an Xbox controller and have the HMD tracked without base station? Yeah, it will track in 3 DOF, but we don't recommend it this as it is incompatible with many games. Is there any 3.5mm audio jack on the headset for custom audio or only Bluetooth? Good question. There is a USB-C slot for the accessories, so you may use the USB type audio speaker or Bluetooth. What the IPD adjustment range on the headset? Yeah, it's same as other Pamex headsets, is 58 to 72 mm. What's the focal distance of the new headsets? 1.3 meter for Dream Air, Dream Air SE and Micro OLED Crystal Super. Will the headset have eye relief? Only by using other types of foam and thickness. Another option is to 3D print your own face mask, but we feel that changing the thickness of the foam works for nearly everyone. Will you be releasing 3D STP files? Yes, keep an eye out on printable, where we already have a lot of models for previous Pimax headsets. For slam tracked headsets, when no controllers are used, are the 460Hz for the tracking cameras used for tracking the headsets? No, the headsets and the controllers are set to be tracked at 30Hz. Even there are no controllers, the headsets is still tracked at 30Hz. From the Dream Air and Dream Air SE to my recollection, not a lot has been said about the split DB cable. Does this mean the Dream Air is powered by two DB cables? No, in fact, it's a DB cable and USB cable connect to the PC. And for the headsets, it will be a split USB-C cable. Okay, next. Will Pemex Pancake Optics use a similar anti-glare coatings to Meta? Well, we can comment on Meta. But we use several coatings and filters on all pancake lenses. The Dream Air and Crystal Super Micro OLED actually have three layers of pancake optics, an additional layer actually, so we have more freedom to apply coatings to the places we want. What quality check will be done for the new headsets? Each headset is tested in the factory, both visual test the exterior, packaging, lens surface, as well as test with devices such as tracking, optics audio, microphone, and whether it links to SteamVR and Pimax Play. Then these tests are repeated before shipping in our HQ or the local distribution center. If we find any error, the headsets won't be shipped and returns to the factory for inspection to prevent these issues to happen in the future. Will the Dream Air and Dream Air SE use the same microphone as a Crystal, Light, and Super? We use a different microphone for Dream Air. What are the Dream Air cables made of and what is the total weight of the cable? 
Yeah, we will share more information about the cable shortly. Whether the building eye tracking support eyelids or only gates, the eye tracking works at 120Hz with 10 infrared lights per eyes. It supports open and closed eyes detection and gaze tracking. Will eye tracking camera feeds be available? Unfortunately, we can't provide this. What is the design distance for outer lens surface to eyes? It's really hard to answer as it depends on the user's head shape and eye position. Conky View Pancakes, is it a uh, same tech that Apple Vision Pro use for the lenses? Yeah, exactly. The Apple Vision Pro also have concave lenses. Okay, next question. Will prescription lenses be available at the time of shipment? Of course. Next, let's talk about the Dream Air. What is the fresh rate of the Dream Air? It does both 72 and 90 Hz, both on native resolution. Next question we saw in the video, the Dream Air had the HTC DAS detect. Will that be possible with the release model? That is a demo version, the final version will be different. Although there will be a universal strap adapter for you to reuse straps. Does the Sony panel support over 90Hz in an operating mode? Or is any higher refresh rate possible with future work? Sorry, no. The highest supported is 90Hz and native resolution. Are the Sony Micro OLED panel in the Dream Air and Super HDR ready? It's not HDR, but it is close in terms of color range and the contrast. Next, let's talk about the Dream Air SE. Was well, there a refresh rate for Dream Air SE? Yeah, for Dream Air SE, it has native 72 Hz and upscale to 90 Hz. Are the lenses exactly the same with Dream Air? No, they are different because the Dream Air SE uses a smaller panel. They still include uh, concave elements as for the wider field of view and a better stereo overlap. Where does the FOV difference come from? If not the lens and the panels, it's always a combination of lens and panels, nothing else. The Dream Air SE's panel are 1 inch compared to the 1.3 inch of the Dream Air. This makes getting the same FOV more difficult. We want to strike a proper balance between both eye FOV and stereo overlap. Next, well, the Cobb and Ringless controller, we're still working on this. The main priority of the team is getting the headsets absolutely perfect. Okay, let's talk about the Crystal Super Micro OLED. First, are the Comfort Strap and d mask included in the purchase? Yes, for pre-orders for the Crystal Super Micro OLED. How heavy is the Micro OLED Super? We will share an exact weight later, but it's really light as it doesn't have the glasses as spheric lenses and large QLED panels are way lower than the Valve Index. When will the Lighthouse faceplate be available to order? Starts shipping end of the November this year. On the stream, there was a brief mention of the MR faceplate for the Super. When is it expected? We currently don't have an exit estimate on this. It's been working on. Will Pamex ever consider face tracking building or perhaps as a module? It's not our expertise, but for Super has a USB-C slot for accessories. Okay, finally, let's talk about the order. Do older pre-order for the Dream Air get the prescription lens frames and game key or just new one? Okay, all pre-orders get this. Pre-order from before September 20th get also extended warranty and a free Halo strap. I have only paid one USD dollar reservation fee, does it apply to free benefits before September 19th like a regular pre-order? No, sorry, as reservation fee is only eligible for shipping priority. Next question. It's not clear what happens with original pre-orders from 2024 and early 2025. Since there was only one version of Dream Air, whole version, will it be chosen for the user? Will it automatically be base station tracked version or will it be slam version? Can user choose which version to receive? How and when can user do this? That is a good question. The default early pre-order is slam version, but user can choose their preferred model. Before shipping, we will send an email for confirmation. When will it be possible to pay the full amount for the headsets? Pre-order base price can be anytime. 
but remain prime will tell you receive the headsets. Next, is it possible to switch the reservation fee to the Pimax Stream Air Lighthouse Edition and keep place in the order queue? Yes, of course. To change your order, please contact our support. Okay, the last question. Can I use my $399 discount for the micro OLED? Yes, the eligibility covers the headsets, but it excludes optic engine only purchase. That's it. Please join the follow up discussion on OpenMR or join us for other topics. Also, if you pre order any of the headsets, you get free lens frames for prescription lenses, a free copy of the Le Mans Ultimates, and priority shipping. That is all for today's video. See you next time.